Hi, I'm Natalie D'Addario. I'm going to try something new, these stripped down studio early morning conversations. <laughs> the topic is resistance and fears. I put fears plural because there's probably more than one fear if we're being honest with ourselves, right? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm laughing because, well, it's not always funny, right? When we come up to face that fear within us, within our artwork, when we're like really entering into that moment and um, everything is rising within us. Uh, and sometimes it's all the expectations that we have for ourselves or for the situation or for our artwork. And um, we really want it to be linear and straightforward and would not have to be any mistakes in there. And we kind of have attached to this like strange idea that life is um, linear and put into containers and we do that with all of our processes we separate it out we put the psychology and we put that over there and we put the spirituality over there and the religion there and we put them all in these little boxes and these groups and these containers and um really nothing is like that and an individual isn't really like that an individual has so many idiosyncrasies and a like a I can't say the word, <laughs> um, but you know what I'm saying in the sense of, I was saying, trying to say eccentric, like, um, we're like colorful people. We're not just one thing, but we try to be one thing and, or like try to pretend that we don't like that or really want to be doing X, Y, Z. Um, and then like put ourselves in this box, in this cage and, um, it's kind of up to us to like free ourselves right in the process and i think why i love art making so much is that you can really uncage yourself you can unfree yourself but when we talk about resistance and fears you know um when we're like moving towards something when we really desire it it brings up a lot of fear um, if we never experienced it before and then all of a sudden we're experiencing it and it gives us this mm, something we never had before in art or life, it can really be polarizing inside of ourselves or we don't know how to like move into it or face it or, um, you know, we put all these labels on it, it this shouldn't be happening or it is wrong and maybe it is wrong. Um, and it's not like the right time or something, right? Um, but it doesn't mean it isn't important or it didn't matter. And so when this thing surfaces, we kind of, I always like to do this, um, we kind of, it, 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 you know, makes a collision with it internally. Um, oh, by the way, I'm drinking coffee from the Bigfoot mug, believe. <laughs> <laughs> um, just wanted to say that. <laughs> so, like, uh, what I see these, like, early morning stripped down studios is, um, I'm just gonna talk to what's arising. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but I have always been confident myself, and I'm still in my own resistance and fears a lot of the time. Um, so I want to just be honest from that point of view. I don't want to pretend I know it all. Um, I know some things. Um, uh, my life experience is very colorful and <laughs> kind of like my art. It's been <laughs> a whirlwind of interesting moments and... <laughs> there's so much memory attached to certain things um and sometimes it's been challenging right it's probably been challenging for you i imagine um because i don't think anyone's immune to life and love and pain and sorrow and grief and you know there's all the there's everything so when we start to look at everything and i mean everything which is scary and hard and um 
sometimes you don't want to do it it's easier to run away and I'm like an expert at that so um, <laughs> like internally when you see oh that's what I really desire and I ran away from my art practice for years you know I, I always compare myself and you know I'm like I can't you know I'm not good enough all those stories I told myself and um you know, depending on the day, I could still fall into that. So, like, we're not immune to these things, these thoughts. Um, and as much as the appearance that I maybe present on one day, it doesn't mean that I'm not struggling. <laughs> you know, um, I think these conversations are interesting to me because it opens up a world of possibility. So, me and you can feel more safe to, like, be free in our expressions not just in art but in life and um um i know for a long time i struggled so much to um just be in the world to feel like i quote belong um and um i really didn't want to be here for a long long time um <laughs> but that's another story and i won't get into that now since these are early morning conversations um <laughs> But um, I just want to say, like, I relate to all of it because I've been on a lot of sides. And um, it's hard when you have to hide all of those things and compartmentalize. And um, what I see in this linear world is we try to compartmentalize everything and just, you know, put it on a shelf or put it away and um, put it in a little box and, like, think that it's never going to affect us again. Um, but really it's about like opening that box even as a scary and as strange as it might be and like taking a look and being like what you know yeah this has been my life um, and these have been my fears and these have been my resistances but like what do I really want to do now right now in this moment for myself first right because it is ultimately about yourself first um, and putting you and your art and your creativity first, um, you know, and that might re involve healing on certain levels and coming more deeply into, you know, these questions that are underlying these resistances and fears. And that's where the hard work happens. And it can be scary. And there's, like, many ways to, like, get support and find um, help within that rising. And not everything is going to work as well as it does for everyone, right? Because we are different people, so we need different experiences. And my um, experience is what's worked best for me has always been, well, very abstract things, things that really are more on the fringe, energy work, shamanism, um, and the understanding of psyche and soul, and that's what I bring into my artwork, you know, too. Um, it's um, bringing in all the emotionality and looking at all the sides. Um, but I don't just mean like, you know, because it's easy to go into appearances and just pretend. <laughs> we all do it, right? And sometimes we have to do it to survive. Um, <laughs> but, you know, what happens when we shed that and... um really take a look at the nakedness of everything it, you know um maybe we don't like what we see maybe there's parts of us that we're having trouble calling back to ourselves because you know there is the shame of fear and guilt around a situation um but the thing is, I was thinking about this yesterday so deeply. I am a believer in redemption and renewal and revival. And we don't have to stay the same and stuck in those thoughts on, of the past, of the trauma, of the history, of what something was or wasn't. Because um, we do only have right now. So um, it is kind of taking an honest look at everything and reflecting and realizing, you know, there has been mistakes possibly that created more resistance and fears because that can happen. Um, but, you know, like giving ourselves some compassion 
and love and um, understanding and forgiveness. I, I mean, if you don't like that word, it's okay. I could understand why it's polarizing. Um, and and I get it. You don't. Some things are very traumatic, and maybe you can never forgive them. But I mean, I have uh, my. Maybe I am too naive, and I still believe in um, reconciliation and amends and you know restoration. Um, and I lot my artwork is a lot about that. Ultimately, when <laughs> like trying to come to this final decision or a moment but in between all of it there's all of those other things all of those sides everything rising and kind of like becoming like that um magician in the process and that alchemist composing all these colors lines shapes and forms in the moment um and it can be scary and it's not always easy right and that's when the resistance comes up because there's so many there can be so many emotional blocks um depending on where we've been through in our experiences right so it may this may or may not apply to you that's perfectly fine um but <laughs> but if it does you just know that you're not alone you know, I think that's the most important thing to know. And we all experience these, these hardships and maybe have unanswered questions that we live with daily and um, wish something could have been different. And, you know, um, but we have to move on, right? Um, a lot of my spiritual teachers have given me the strength and understanding and knowledge to, uh, to know that um, wallowing is... Well, it only works for so long, you know, and um, what makes us stronger, and I don't mean to trivialize pain or trauma, and I've experienced uh, my fair share, so I understand. Um, like, the platitudes and the cliches are kind of hurtful at times, right? Like, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Um, but there is some truth in that. Um, but I'm not saying you have to choose that, right? And it's only like when we're over that mountain and, and on the other side where we can really understand that, oh, that was a time that really taught me X, Y, Z, right? So, you know, if you're right in the middle of it right now, I know that it, it's probably, you know, challenging and um, maybe you don't even want to listen to what I say because I didn't want to listen to what people said either in the past um, when I was really in this pain and living in that fear. Um, it's easy to be in distorted thinking when we live in resistance and fear and that's our story. Um, and of course, depending on our experiences, traumas could have um, and may have, you know, put more of that into us. But at the same time, I know we can free that side of us and all the sides actually, because ultimately they want liberation um, because we as a people want liberation. That's how I see it. Um, <laughs> so when we work to free ourselves internally and that's doing all the inner work and that's like choosing our brightest and biggest lives, right? What we want for ourselves, that's gonna be different. You know, and it, maybe it's just black and white and that's fine. But like, <laughs> and here it's a world of color and it, it um, but I do love black. Um, but what I'm trying to say is there isn't any one way to look at it. Um, and nothing is really defined in the end, but we do try to put all the labels and definitions and neatly contain everything um, into like some kind of, organization i guess in order to understand it right because if we're just swirling out there in an infinite possibility that could be a little bit overwhelming unless you love to dwell in that side then it's like pure play and fun and excitement and experimentation um so i mean that's what i love and that's what i'm here to help you move into and keep moving into it myself because i still have so much to learn and I'm still moving through my resistances and fears just as much as you, but just at a different level, right? Um, you know, because all this stuff rises every time we come to meet ourselves again or when we meet someone else. Um, it's here to teach us um, about, uh, you know, how do we just be 
in the world and um, move into all of our expressions. And that acceptance piece is so hard, right? Um, I think it has to start with ourselves, right? Um, and I'm finding the right support in the process to help us expand into what we really know for ourselves and our hearts and um, what we really want to create, right? Because that can be a journey and it is a journey and it can be a challenge to get to those points of like where you really know oh this is the direction I want to go but you know that, that those fears kind of are always needling us at some point and but we keep doing the work and we keep moving forward and um we can rise you know into these new expressions and you know move forward despite it all <laughs> So this is an early morning studio talk. It's just going to be unedited um, <laughs> and kind of just right in the moment, whatever is arising. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you found some something here to take away, whether you agree or disagree. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and, you know, just know that we can always move through these resistances and fears and, and, um, find something new and maybe have something in return you know and stay open like instead of closed um and see what's possible in our art and in our life mm -hmm.